Good evening once again. It came out of nowhere. A driver with a stun gun suddenly attacking a mom and her kids in a car. Now police are looking for that driver. Jay Warren joining us live with a story you'll see only on 9 on your side. Jay. Well, that's right. A truly shocking story. And this Middletown mom says that she does not know who this attacker is. She says she doesn't think she did anything to inadvertently cut her off in traffic. But again, this woman gets out with a stun gun, tries to stun her 12 year old daughter. And now Middletown police are on the hunt to find this suspect. We're coming down the road here, and this lady in a black trailblazer is just completely on the rear end of my vehicle. Sarah Martin Miller says it was Thursday when they were driving down Roosevelt Avenue. She was getting ready to turn left when this woman jumped the curb and cut her off. I, I was actually here and I had my blinker on to turn left. She pulled up here and then, you know, went alongside of me and came in the front. Then a shocking attack that happened right in the middle of traffic on Roosevelt. She just leans back on her seat, grabs a taser and comes in through the window and starts lunging at my daughter and I'm putting my hands on my daughter and, and and my daughter's leaning towards me and I'm trying to roll up the window and she's shoving the window down at the same time trying to tase my daughter. She stuck her arm in the window and like she said she was going to kill me and stuff. 12 year old Veda Spears was the one attacked. He kind of scared me after like when I like thought about how serious it was. She was like in our window and I was just sitting there like what is going on and my mom started to roll the window up and I saw the guy in the passenger seat and there was like a baby in the back seat. And this woman was like screaming a bunch of profanities. Ultimately, Miller was able to roll up the window, back up slightly, and make her turn. The threat to call police scared the woman off. She definitely needs to go to jail. Um, she needs help. I, I mean, she. I don't. I don't want to say that she was under the influence of anything, but the look in her eyes and the actions that she was taking, and she either needed, you know, she had some type of mental disorder, or, you know, drug drugs were definitely a factor. Now, if police do have a suspect in this, they haven't said. If you know anything about this situation, who this woman is, call Crime Stoppers, 513-352-3040. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Middletown.